Hey, we are in a really special place today. We are in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. We are literally standing in the control room at Muscle Shoals Studios. Uh, this is a place where some of the most important music in the history of music has been recorded. Um, the Rolling Stones recorded Brown Sugar and Wild Horses in this room. So many other Al Green, uh, Booker T and the MGs, so many amazing people, Wilson Pickett. Uh, we see all these people here we didn't even know recording here. Cher, Paul Simon, Leonard Skinner. Uh, we're about to meet Noel, who owns the studio. He's outside with the guys. We're going to start in the control room here, and we're going to do a little bit of a walk through the studio. So check this out. Okay. I'm going to walk very carefully so I don't fall. So you can see uh, Ronnie Van Zandt, the, the uh, late singer from Leonard Skinner right there. Here's Rod Stewart, who made um, possibly a very bizarre record here. Um, this is the live room right here, and this is like, this is like magic right here. Um, this is it. This is just it. It's just like a big room, and it's got, you can feel the soul of this place just walking through. Um, this, uh, this organ right here has been played, and that Wurlitzer over there, those things, and that Rhodes, I mean, those are like the three staples of soul music right there. You don't need a guitar, you don't need a bass, those things help, but you have these three things, and a singer and a great drummer, you're all set. Um, so if we come over here, we, got, we can see some other cool photos. I mean, look at this. That's incredible. We got Simon and Garfunkel right here. Just incredible. And then we got uh, over here in this room. We got uh, this is a, this is a vocal booth, or this would be used as an ISO for a piano, I guess. Depending on the sound they want to get, you can tell this room has got a little bit of an echo to it. And look at all the incredible people here. Um, just just insane. Um, this is Charlie Watts from the Stones. There's Mick Jagger. I mean, just incredible. When you think that, how many times have you heard Brown Sugar? It was recorded right in this room. Okay. Now, we're going to go outside and see the boys. Check this out. We're going to get some natural light here. Two miles. Okay, here's Mr. Noel right here. He's the proprietor at this place. <laughs> Dude, thanks for letting us in here. Of course. And uh, even though you and I have never met, you met my, my friend Dave Cooley who came down here and checked out a recording console which we bought from you about four years ago. And it's now uh, living in L.A. at Danger Bird Studios and it used to live somewhere in this building. And... Uh, it's really great to be here. Yes, sir. I mean, it's the famous uh, sign here. And did you work with the Black Keys in the studio? Yeah, incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. How long did it take them to cut their record here? They were here for 10 days. Actually, they put 14. They were here for 10. And they did, uh, did 14 songs in 10 days. Wrote them on the floor and cut them. Wow. Pretty incredible. That's, pretty but that's not the way people usually yeah. do it in, uh, in 2000, whatever that was. <laughs> Did you and Brad Wood have a chance to talk, producer talk? Okay, yeah, Brad, yeah. you guys are producer. You guys will talk in a minute. Uh, <laughs> so they told you what we Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to find that again. So every day in the middle of the day, we're we'll trying to stop somewhere. Uh, that's a good thing. We're going to go. No better place to open this studio. Um, and uh, and uh, we dedicate to a child with a couple of children. Uh, you know, cancer treatment. So today, uh, we're going to make a dedication to a little girl named Emma Wheeler, who's 10, who uh, is a good friend of mine. Uh, she's from the Boston area, which means she's a fan of the uh, Boston Celtics, the Boston Bruins, the Red Sox, and uh, my boys are drunk in So there's all four of those things are for sure. Happy. Her dad came out to see Fitz in the Tech in terms of a really small venue. 
Chicago that night called Shubas, and uh, I think he was able to have a beer or two and get out of the hospital and whatever. You know, the weird thing is, they don't serve beer in the hospitals. So once in a while, they're trying to get out and have a little bit of a beer. Uh, and that's it, just as important as you sit in this child's bedside. Um, so, dude, we're really happy to be here. Really, we didn't know what was going to happen when we pushed the door and opened the door. We didn't know if the guy was going to come out swinging or <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we came just the right time. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, thanks for letting us uh, see the place, man. We wish we had, we had some musicians here. We wish we had some gear on us. We could uh, try to a song here. Yeah, right? Yeah. Rob, what do you think? You want to cut a, a, a record today? Yeah. We'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, dude. Of course. Thank well, you. We'll see you soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, if you want us to cut a song, yeah, well, Brad is a great.